go. There's a lot of stairs. So when I when I come up here Monday morning to change the time, um, I will be coming in and in addition to winding it, which I do every week, um, I'll be pulling out this uh, knob here, which releases the movement so that it can move freely. And then I'll be turning this crank um, until it says the right time, and then setting the knob back in so that it's all hooked back together. Get a good workout. Yeah, it certainly is. <laughs> Generally, I just keep, wind it every week, and I, I keep um, I keep an eye on the light bulbs, make sure that none of them are blown out. Um, there are light bulbs behind each face. I oil the clock um, four, about four times a year, so I'll be oiling the clock on Monday as well. Um, there, there are a number of wells um, in the clock itself that take the oil, um, and I clean them up a little bit just to make sure that they don't have too much wear and everything's running smoothly. This is where my, my mentor um, started winding for the first time and I wrote this when he passed away. Um, and uh, I just wrote uh, John Reeves passed November 22nd, 2014. He loved this clock and the city and may he rest in peace. And what did he write? He wrote um, he, he and uh, a friend of his, Peter Stoltz Burton and John Reeves, Inauguration Day, 20 January 2009, a new time has come. And then mine is, Tessa Demers begins her winding saga, July 2014. Um, Demers isn't my last name anymore, but... <laughs> yeah.